Anybody wish to make any public comments? Okay. I have comments on two issues. And if you can part. please give oh, us your I, name and where you live. You know who I am. For the, for the record. <laughs> All right. I'm Karen Anderson, and I live on Woodland Avenue. Okay. Two things. One is... Please, please, I don't want to keep driving 10 miles each way to go to the Olney Dog Park. And I have to go to the dog park. There's no place to let the dogs play around here, you know, to get off leash and play. And I now have a, I'm a failed foster. And I was fostering this little dog, and now I'm keeping him. And he definitely needs to go to the dog park. So I encourage you to do the dog park. As far as smart growth goes, okay, I think it is absolutely deplorable what, what's put on our market in this country. Number one, please everybody, especially if you drink diet sodas, look up on the computer how bad they are for you. Health problems par excellent. Okay, the, um, the insecticides and the uh, pesticides and the stuff that people put on their grass. Now, I live on woodland and I have three quarters of an acre and about a quarter of it's grass, which I think is ridiculous, but I was from California and we have grass. There's not a single weed in it, but I use absolutely no uh, weed killers or any sprays. What I do is if I want to kill a whole patch of something, I use vinegar. If I want to kill a weed in the lawn, I care take my hose with a nozzle and I spray the weed real hard and it just comes right out. You just pull them out. So if people did that, we wouldn't need these things. And as far as fertilizing plants and things, I have a worm farm. And I'm going to tell you, that stuff is the most potent stuff you've ever, you can't imagine. When I first started doing a worm farm, I, I didn't realize I should just put a little bit of it in the dirt. So I put the whole pot, I put all worm shit. And the plant took off, grew all the way across my living room. So that stuff is fantastic. So people don't need to use all these things. And also, too, in Europe, do you know they've banned food coloring? We still have food coloring in our food. Do you know that we still have partially hydrogenated vegetable oil, which can cause heart attacks in our breads and our dairy goods? They banned these things in Europe, but we have them. So we should start by, by doing the smart growth and absolutely not having any of these um, chemical things for our lawns. And we need a dog park. I would have brought my dog tonight, but I didn't know if he was allowed. He was barking for a dog park. Thank you. Uh, Brendan Platt uh, in Ward 2 on Larch Avenue. Uh, I support a dog park, but the comments I want to make today is... Good evening, Honorable Mayor Williams and the rest of the council. I know some of you well from past days. My name is Penny jones Napier. I'm the owner of the Big Bad Wolf. And... Um, I came in today just to give a few comments in regard in advance of the presentation I'm going to be doing on, on trying to look at putting a dog park here in Tacoma Park. We are a very pet-centric community. Um, that is evidenced by the fact that I've run a successful business here for almost nine years and uh, had been terrifically supported by the community. It is a very uh, good alternative, I think, for you all to look at putting a dog park that is going to be a safe environment for people to take their pets. Right now we have some pop-up parks that happen around the city that aren't fenced in, and it's dangerous for not only the dogs, but people who may not be as familiar with dogs as possible. We want to create a safe environment that's pleasurable for everyone, and another thing that dog parks foster is a lot of community where you have a lot of neighbors who get together and they have coffee clatches and they talk and they catch up on events in the community, et cetera. So there's a lot of benefits that are outside of the scope of just letting your dog run around that I think need to be looked at in terms of putting a dog park here in the area. Uh, I also wanted to say that I don't know how all of this is going to unfold as far as you all looking at how, where you would install it, how you're going to. There's a lot that goes into building a really good and effective dog park. There's landscaping issues, grading issues, and things like that. I've worked um, in tandem with some of the issues that D.C. government has gone through in putting dog parks there. And I want to let you all know that we as a corporation would be glad to work with the 
um, the people here who are advocating putting a dog park into the community and with you all in terms of being a, a business partner in this too. Um, I don't know how much we can contribute, but we will do whatever we can because we, of course, want this to be a viable entity for the entire community and something that I think a lot of people could look forward to here. Thank you very much for allowing me time. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Nicole LaBeouf. I live at 8010 Maple Avenue. Thank you for hearing us tonight on the issue of bringing an off-leash dog park to Tacoma Park. I've been a resident of Tacoma Park for nine years. Um, I very much enjoy living here. One of the reasons, one of the primary reasons I enjoy living in Tacoma Park is all of the services that the community provides, um, places to play, places to shop, places to eat, places to socialize with your neighbor. Um, one of the notable exceptions to the features that really make up a nice place to live here in Tacoma Park is the lack of an off-leash dog park. Dog parks are growing throughout the country in metropolitan areas, not only where people typically have places to go and play with their dogs, but where they don't, where there's apartments, uh, people living in with small yards or without yards, and the ability to go and socialize um, with your dogs and allow the dogs to socialize it's almost ancillary. Of course, a tired dog is a happy house. I have a big 71-pound hound dog, and I can tell you that when he's tired, I get a lot more done. But honestly, when I go to the park in Prince George's County, uh, Hurick Dog Park, when I go to Olney, when I go to Wheaton, when I go to um, Baltimore and elsewhere, I'm getting in my car, I'm making a drive. I meet all kinds of wonderful people, and they're not my neighbors, and I enjoy talking with them. We talk about dogs. We talk about life and politics but they're not my neighbors. Um, so there's, there's, there's sort of an investment that I make there that really doesn't pay off when I come home. Then when I walk on Sligo Creek with a leash, right, I'm seeing my neighbors every day, and we're talking, and our dogs are socializing, but it's quick and it's brief, and the dogs are a little anxious on a leash. It's not the same. Um, and so it's sort of a mixed match of where I have community, where I don't have community, and that's just something that I've observed in the last couple of years since I've had a dog. Uh, one of the great things about bringing a dog park here to Tacoma Park is we do not have to reinvent the wheel. Communities all over the country, and right here, including Silver Spring, the D.C., um, Prince George's County, everywhere, they've done this. They've done the costing. They've done the liability, the risk assessment, everything. They know how to do it right. They are, have lessons learned. We don't really have to start anything new. We just have to find places here that we want to work with, community that supports it, and a council that's willing to go to bat for us and we're ready to go. It's cookie cutter. We'd really like your support in this. We appreciate all the support we've gotten to date. And um, we look forward to working with you and the county on moving forward with an off-leash dog park. Thank you. Thank you. I guess the shirt gives it away. but. Uh, my name is Stacy Gilbert. I live on Ethan Allen. I've lived in Tacoma Park for about um, eight or nine years. I have to say, I, I moved to Tacoma Park because I have a dog. Um, a stray dog befriended me when I was, or I would say adopted me while I was living in Tanzania. I've schlepped him all around the world with me, um, from India uh, to Iraq, Washington State, and, and we're, we actually live in Tacoma Park because this is a place where I could, I could have him um, he has he has a yard, but and in some ways, Tacoma Park residents are very lucky. They do they tend to have yards, but yards are not are not necessarily good for dogs. Dogs need to socialize just like people need to socialize. And I have to say, um, probably just about everyone I know in Tacoma Park, um, until I had a child. Um, pretty much everyone I knew was because I had a dog, because I would go to these pop-up dog parks, um, the unauthorized dog parks where occasionally Montgomery com uh, County dog catchers chase us off. And the people that I know are people who had dogs. Those people introduced me to other people, generally other people with dogs. But I have to say, what I know about Tacoma Park and this community is because of my dog and the community of people that meet together, talk every morning, you know, find out what's going on. We get updates on, on crime, on school events, on community events. But it's because of the dog park and coming together around dogs. 
And I think that's, it's a resource that more people want and this community could definitely benefit from. Thanks. Thank you. Barbara Mulebacher, Elm Avenue, Tacoma Park. As a veterinarian practicing in D.C., I see a lot of dogs who get to go to dog parks in D.C., and I have to say that generally they are much more socialized, they're better behaved, they get to play and let go of some of their energy that they don't normally get to do when they're on a leash being walked. And I think it has many benefits to have a dog park in Tacoma Park uh, for the dogs and for the people um, to, for one, better socialize the dogs, uh, better exercise their dogs, they make better behaved dogs, and also people, uh, again, the socialization of people goes along the same way, and better socialized people, uh, with or without dogs, make better um, citizens. So as a citizen of Tacoma Park and a veterinarian, I do advocate for Tacoma Park dog park as well. I think it will be a great asset for the community and uh, for the community, even the people who don't have dogs, if they encounter dogs that are better behaved, that creates um, a much better environment and a lot, lot less uh, pro problems in general. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, uh, I don't know, spend too much time because all of you are probably yay, yay for dog park. And, uh, and I'm Mary Jane Machui. I've lived in Tacoma Park over 28 years. I am disabled. I'm not crying. I just have dry eyes really bad. Please forgive me. <laughs> I'm not, it's not that bad, the situation, okay? Uh, but um, I just want to say, um, having, I have my only child, now grown, who is severely disabled, sometimes life gets kind of lonesome and found the only way, I best way to make friends in Tacoma Park and to know your neighbors if you have a dog or you have a young child. You either walk the dog or the ch young child and that's how you get to know your neighbors or even better if you got both. But uh, since I have a, since I'm disabled and my son is, it's harder to make friends and to get to know people. So. I want to, I'm yay, yay for the dog park. And this thick, this is correspondence from 2009, 2010, when I, and there's a woman before me named Susan, I forgot her name, who also tried to establish a dog park in Tacoma Park. And I was, we were, I was turned down repeatedly by the city. Thank you. I hope you do not turn it down now. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. I'm Jennifer Shields. I live on Elm Avenue. I live there. 16 years. And I would like to add my voice to the advocates for a dog park. One of um, our ward representatives, I will not name, um, came by our house one day and our dogs played together in our yard and there was a chicken fatality. This would not happen in a dog park. Um, not quite a fatality. She was crippled. And she did, she did um, bounce back. And it's really okay. Don't feel bad, Tim. It's all right. Um, but, but really, that's the kind of thing that could, I mean, a safe place for dogs to really play and really run around. Um, my husband and I bring our dog to the Hyattsville Dog Park, and it's a wonderful place. Um, but as Nicole was saying, it's not a place where you get to know your neighbors. And I would love to share that with neighbors, and I think it would be really good for our dogs. And dogs just bring people joy. And uh, so does fellowship and community. So please consider... Um, uh, helping us uh, together build a dog park. Thank you. Hi, Sarah Delone. I live at 1006 Elm Avenue. Here for the obvious also. Nothing to add in terms of the sort of factual list, list of facts in support of the dog park. Just really here to encourage you, add my voice to, to, to my uh, friends and neighbors. Um, really encourage you to, to support us in, in getting the dog park in Tacoma Park. Thanks. Thank you. I'm Ed Scorza. I'm a 30-year resident of Tacoma Park. I live on Piney Branch Road. 
Uh, I have two dogs. I have had more trouble when I walk my dogs on the leash than I've ever had in a dog park because the dogs tend to be more protective of you when they're on the leash and when other dogs are around that it can cause problems that wouldn't happen in the dog park if you walked them there. And then I have a few scars to prove it. I also brought some of my dogs with me tonight, but I encourage you to please support a dog park in Tacoma Park. Thank you. My name is Catherine Farr, and I live at 7600 Maple Avenue, which is not a dog building. However, I have a companion animal, Rennie. Um, my husband and I moved to Park Ritchie in 2002. My husband was severely disabled from diabetes and passed away in February 2011. Um, at that time, I was not real social, but my children encouraged me to get a dog. And I was very, very blessed to get Rennie. Um, obviously, I'm here to add my voice to those that would are in favor of a dog park. Um, I walk Rin um, in Sligo Creek, but as you notice, he's very, very small. And even the big dogs, I know, um, when they're walking, we have to watch out for other people walking, running, bicycles, and those can be very hazardous both to us and to our animals. And it would be so much nicer to have a place where dogs, big and small, can be off the leash and can be exercised. Um, he's much happier when he is exercised. I'm much happier when he's exercised. And I have met a lot of people. I stop and I've talked to people that I wouldn't have if I didn't have him. And I'm getting the exercise that I wouldn't have gotten if I didn't have him. Um, but I think it would be so much nicer to have a safe environment for him and for me and for the other people in Tacoma Park that have animals. Thank you. Thank you. Love it. Hi, uh, my name is Michael Duma. I'm also pro dog park. Uh, I live just next to Tacoma Park. I used to live on Maple Avenue. I live now on, on Garland Avenue. But just to kind of a few comments that I hope are relevant. Uh, one thing is that I've seen a few other dog parks, other places that I've lived. Uh, there's a dog park on, um, in Wheaton Regional Park. There's one uh, uh, near Chainbridge Road between AU and MacArthur. There's one that's a little bit east of DuPont Circle that they had put in. Uh, there is one other one uh, near, um, I used to live near Adams Morgan, and it's by Woodley Park on the other side of the bridge. And the, the thing in all of these, they're packed. People just like use them a whole lot, and so I think I don't have a dog myself, but I, the fact that people use these so much I think is important. Also, there's a park that people use which is unofficial. Behind my house, I live on Garland, but kind of near Washington Adventist University, there's a field that the university is going to pave over into a parking lot. And uh, people, people come here all times of day. I see them because it's next to my house. And uh, it's kind of a, more evidence that there's kind of latent need. So uh, that's my, my support. I don't know if I have to speak into this thing. I won't. You're fine. <laughs> uh, my name is Susan Collings. I live on Sycamore Avenue. I have four small dogs, which are kind of notorious in the neighborhood because <laughs> they bark along the fence when everyone walks by. Um, I would really love a place where I could go with my dogs to meet my neighbors, where my dogs didn't feel threatened by everyone walking by. And the secret is, if anyone who walked by my yard opened the gate and came in and let their dog off the leash, my vicious barking dogs would become teddy bears. <laughs> and um, when dogs get together off leash, they do behave much better than they do when they're encountering each other on the street. Um, I also want to add that um, I find it hard to meet people in Tacoma Park because I don't have children and I have this pack of dogs that people don't like when they walk by. So I would really love to have a place where I could meet other people with their dogs 
where it was a friendly, open environment, and uh, that's all. <laughs> I support the dog. Thank you. My name is Kaylee Wagner, and I live on Aspen Avenue, and I would like to have a dog park because it makes my dog very happy to meet other dogs, and when he's happy, it makes me happy. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Kathleen Zafina. I live on Darwin. I have five cats, but uh -oh. I had a dog named Jocko when I was a girl, and I've been to the only dog park and I didn't, I never have had so much fun with complete strangers watching with joy the dogs running full speed ahead. And it was just a marvelous experience. And, you know, I can't walk my cats. If you've ever tried to walk a cat, you know, you've got to take a nap. And they just, just don't go anywhere. And, you know, it would be nice to be able to be around dogs again. So, once again, I'm in support. Thanks. Thank you. Everybody hear me? Yeah? Okay, good. Uh, my name's Jeff Weiss. I live on Sycamore, also. And I've been living in Tacoma Park for 24 years, 25 years. And I am also a certified dog trainer. And I would like to talk to you about the issue of density of population and the, I don't know, how many of you have been following, I know Bruce, you follow the listservs of how much crime there's been, and I think what's going to happen is more and more people are going to get more and more dogs, and the density of the population is going to cause more and more problems with these dogs that people are going to get for protecting themselves. And one of the ways to mitigate that would be to have a dog park and have areas where people can have their dogs run and get exercise because, like someone else said, is uh, a tired dog is an obedient dog. And so it's, there's lots of good reasons, not only just, you know, so people can have the dogs run around and act like maniacs, but to actually have it for a specific reason for socialization and reducing the problems that are associated with the density of how many dogs there are in Tacoma Park and which is only going to increase. Thanks. Thank you. Good evening. I'm Gary Steinberg. I've lived at 7419 Cedar for over 30 years and recently ran a controlled test of what it's like to be living with and without a dog. Uh, for most of that time, uh, we had dogs and, and somehow ended up without a dog for two years and recently got Ralph the rescue dog. And I got to say, uh, what everybody said is really true. Uh, you, I meet my neighbors more. Uh, and if you want to talk about spreading joy and smiles, I think uh, our pets really contribute to that. And, you know, Ralph just really makes our life better. He makes our interaction with our neighbors in the community better. And so I really hope that uh, the council uh, can support a dog park in Tacoma Park. Thanks. Thanks. Hi, I'm Francesca Milliken, and I live on Kennebec. Um, we came in a little late, so you may have already heard this before, but one of the things that I haven't heard so far is that people let their dogs off leash if there isn't a dog park anyway, and there's a risk in that because people aren't always comfortable with dogs and, pe and it's not allowed and all that. And if you give them a place where they can legally let their dogs off leash, it's more likely that they will not let them off leash in places where they shouldn't. And for that alone, it's a it's a good reason to keep people safe, and it's a good reason to you know have dogs have something that they need to have, which is just running around without being closed in small places. That's really, and I support dog park and Tacoma park. Thanks. Thank you.
Hello, everybody. I'm Francine Holland. I'm one of the many dog trainers around Tacoma Park. I have classes on Tuesdays off of Oswego. Besides all the wonderful reasons that everybody has given for having a dog park, and what Francesca just said, you know, one of my most important reasons for having a dog park to eliminate that is I also see it as a, as a place where we can focus education about dogs. There's a behavioralist named Sophia Yen who's got posters similar to this. Body language of fear is this handout. I could hand it to you guys if you'd like. Anybody in the audience also. We could hang posters in this dog park. All of the dog trainers in town could have classes, not in the dog park, but outside at other community buildings. And we could, we could have it a safer dog park through education. And it's just one of many opportunities I see making this community better. So thank you. Would you like any handouts? Sure. Okay. Thank you.